Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Have Gun Will Travel, original it's June 14th, 1959, and the title is Bitter Wine. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> If you pull that trigger, this torch will start a fire you'll never be able to stop. An oil fire. It'll wipe out everything you've worked for. Have Gun. Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Come in. Oh, Mr. Paladin. Well, Miss Wong. Hi. And how are you this evening? Oh. Oh, very good. Thank you, Mr. Valadon. Uh, excuse, please, but the man in Ravi asked me where you this. Oh, what is oh, it? Oh, yeah, uh, in Oce. Huh. Bottle of wine. Yes, sir. That's good color. Uh, message come with it. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, he told me, message. He come to Ravi, wait for you, then say he has no time to wait longer. He give me water and message. I see. What's his name? Renato Donatello. Donatello? Yes, sir. He wants you to come to his ranch as soon as possible. Donatello Wine Ranch. Oh, yes, oh. I've heard of it. Oh. All right, Miss Wong, I will. This is Frank Knight speaking for Longine, the world's most honored watch. It's wonderful to win a Nobel Prize in Science, a Pulitzer Award in Literature, an Olympic gold medal in sports. In the field of time, did you know that Longines watches have won more great public honors for excellence, elegance, and accuracy than any other watch in the world? This is true. For close to a century, the highest authorities have ranked Longines watches as the finest achievement in the science and art of watchmaking. Yet, for a surprisingly modest cost, you may own or proudly give a Longine, the world's most honored watch, the world's most honored gift, styled with distinction, cased in precious metal, promising a lifetime of faultless timekeeping. See your authorized Longine Whitnor jeweler. He will be honored to serve you. Donatello House was placed squarely in the center of a huge vineyard. The grounds were neat and clean. The buildings a sparkle, the rows of vines well kept. Obviously, years of loving care had gone into everything. And obviously, Signor Donatello could see nothing but red. This whole place is going to be ruined if something is not done. Well, maybe you better tell me exactly what is ruining your vineyard, Signor. Oh, see, two things. A madman and a well. Now, from a well should come life, a refreshment, the water, signor, huh? And from this one? From this well comes the evil, stink, blackness, ruin. Oil? Oil, see, oil. Black slime drains onto my land, the ruin of my vine. The smoker from his tank coats the grapes. The wine is a bitter because of it. I... Well, tell me about the, the madman, signor. Oh, tell him. he is cunning. He's a powerful. He defies me, will not pay damages. He will not change his ways. What's this fellow's name? His name is Gorman. Timothy Jerome Gorman. <laughs> Irish. <laughs> well, are the Irish so bad? Hey, I ask you, Mr. Paladin, what kind of a savage you drink a whiskey made out of potatoes, huh? <laughs> not so I oh. to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Teresa. This is Signor Paladin of San Francisco. This is my sister, Teresa. How do you do? Bienvenido, Señor Paladin. You are welcome to this house. Thank you. 
Renata neglected to tell me that his sister was very beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Teresa, also the finest cook, senor. Today I make scalapini. It is awaiting you. And you must eat, senor Paradis. Oh, first, but I get you some wine to taste. Huh? Only a moment. I am glad you're here, senor. Renato is so upset in this terrible fight with senor Gorman. What's your opinion of Gorman? He's a bad enemy, but he would be a good friend. Do not tell Renato, but today I sent some scalapini to Senor Gorman. It is my finest dish. It's a fine peace offering. Now, here we are, Senor. Now, this was my prize wine. Now, you taste, huh? Thank you. Eh? What do you think? Mm, well, it's a little sour. A little sour? It has a... It's like the inside of a smoke chimney. That's that oil well. <laughs> what? What is it? Let's have a look. Oh! Senor Gorman does it is. That's the... That's the pen of Scalapini I sent to him. Hey, what an insult. I'll go up there and i crush you, that savage. No, no, you I... won't, senor. Let me go up there first and see if I can do anything. <laughs> Down. That's it. Mr. Gorman? Yeah, that's me. Who are you? My name is Paladin. How'd you get in here? Walked in. No wonder you wasn't shot. I've got rifle guards all around the place. I saw them. What's the reason? A crazy Italian who's trying to ruin me. You look like a good man in a fight. How'd you like to work for me? Well, I'd like to, except for one thing. I already worked for that crazy Italian. Now, look here, you... Uh, before off. we talk, Mr. Gorman, we should understand two things. First of all, he's not crazy. Second, he's an American. He's crazy as a bog walker. Well, this is a nice-looking operation you have here. What did you know about oil? Well, I was in Texas when they brought in the black cat, but uh, two things should be changed. Oh, they should. Well, name Well, the main drainage ditch for the waste and the smoke from the boiler... You see, Mr. Gorman, the waste drains onto Donatello's land, and the smoke drifts over and coats his vines. Now, you could pump the waste off this rise and drain it off down the opposite slope. And a 20-foot chimney on that boiler would get away from the downdraft and take the smoke off harmlessly. It's a, it's a crime to destroy a vineyard that produces the best wine in the state, Mr. Gorman. I don't drink wine. When I want to drink, I take white mule. Straight. That's a man's drink. And something else, Mr. Paladin. I could do those things, you said, but it did cost money. Every cent I could beg, borrow, or steal went into this well. Besides, that Donatello's fought me every foot of the way. Teresa Donatello hasn't fought you. Well, I kind of liked her until she tried to poison me. That Italian food hits me the wrong way. That scallopini was well meant. I took one taste and it bit me. I figured I'd better shoot it before it got loose and ran wild. Now, Mr. Gorman... Would you shoot an unarmed scalopini? I'd shoot anything that gives me trouble. What do you need? You need lots of dollars for sicknesses. You need lots of dollars for an accident. You need the kind of protection that only mutual of Omaha sells. What do you need? You need Mutual of Omaha income protection with the unusual lifetime benefits feature. Insurance that pays cash direct when total disability keeps you from working. You need it because Mutual of Omaha can pay you for as long as the covered disability lasts, even for life. Here's what you need. You need income protection insurance with a lifetime benefits feature pioneered by Mutual Benefit Health and Accident Association of Omaha. For information, call your local Mutual of Omaha agent in the yellow pages or write Mutual of Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. For information on how to receive cash during disability, write to the largest organization of its kind in the world, Mutual of Omaha. Send your name and address to Mutual of Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. It could be the most important thing you'll do this year. Wine versus oil. Donatello versus Gorman. It was a standoff. And I hoped to keep it a standoff until I could clear up a few matters. 
I borrowed a horse and started for the nearest town. By the time I got back to the Donatello Ranch, the standoff had turned into a battle. A mob of men were surging around the wine vats. <laughs> Teresa. I tried to pray, but I cannot. Not so far away. Well, what's happening? Renato felt the time of choice is past. That he must lead a raid on Senor Gorman or we'll lose everything. But it's gone wrong. Gorman and his men are going to wreck our bats. Renato will be killed. You must help. Get in the house and stay there. I'll see what I can do. We're going to make those wine bats look like skin. Then we'll have it far from them. Clean out those wine drawers and get for the wine shed. Then we'll have it. Will you stop them, Gorman? Tell him to go back or I'll blow your spine in two. Oh, hold it, wait. It's a trap. Come back. That's fine. That's fine. I'm more of the same. Everybody back. It's a trap. Go on, everybody. Get back to the well. That's better. So, that's how a big-time gunman acts, is it? Crawling up to shoot people in the back. You didn't get shot... I figured you'd listen to reason. Otherwise, I'd have had to kill a half a dozen innocent men. You talk big, Paladin. But the next time we meet, you'd better be ready to back it up. Good night, Mr. Gorman. Remember what I told you. Next time. I think you understand that your attack was a foolish move. Yes. Yeah, see. Oh, thank you. Gorman can ruin my vineyards as he pleases. Tomorrow, Teresa and I will pack and move. This vineyard and winery means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah. It was my whole life. I have no wife, no little ones, Paladin. I have the vines that I put in the ground of my own hands. Those vats, they're not vats of wine. They are years of my life. But... Believe me, I understand. And I want you to understand that... That Gorman feels the same about his well and refinery, senor. Oh, you, you can't compare my beautiful wine with that black slime. The, the principle involved is the same. No, look, Paladin. Look, tomorrow, if you still want to move, I'll help you pack. Tonight, I'd like to use a barrel of your wine. What for? For some of Gorman's rifle guards. Oh, you crazy? Do you ever read Omar Khayyam, senor? Huh? The grape with logic absolute shall all the warring tribes confute. Ah. Now then, I want that barrel of wine and a wagon. Now, here's a foolproof formula for making the head of your house a happy man on Father's Day. Be sure his gift is Old Spice. And watch his face light up. Yes, this Father's Day, treat him to Old Spice by Shulton, finest grooming aids a man can use. Give him a truly luxurious way to shave. Old Spice Smooth Shave, rich, thick lather in a push-button container, one dollar. If he uses an electric shaver, give him Old Spice Pre-Electric Shave Lotion. Sets up his beard, speeds up his shaver, one dollar. Or shoot the works on a really deluxe gift, the Old Spice Treasure Chest. Seven great grooming aids, everything for his shave and shower, in a magnificent red box, $7. There are so many Old Spice gifts to choose from, priced from $1 to $7. Finest grooming aids a man can use. Remember, Old Spice means quality. Said the captain to the bosun, as on the package with the ship that sails the ocean. <laughs> It took a great deal of trouble to have a barrel of Donatello's wine fall off a wagon in just the right position for three of Gorman's guards to see it. It took two full hours of patient waiting for them to drink enough of it. And then it took some persuasion in Signor Donatello's direction. Ah, oh, Paladin, this is crazy. Those guards, they will kill us if they find us here. Not if you do as I say. Gorman's men aren't going to kill anybody. Not after drinking a barrel of your wine. Now... I want you to stay hidden here until I yell for oh, you. Oh, no, no. I come with you. You did things your way last night, remember? Oh, but the last... Tonight, tonight, I'm giving the orders. Uh, all right, I stay, I stay. All right. 
Christ, you lily-livered weaklings, break your backs. Get that day beam up on end and lift, will you? I say lift. Gorman. Paladin, why you... Yes. What are you standing there for? At him, boy. <laughs> A gun won't do you any good, Gorman. Get down off there, I'll blow a hole right through you. If you do, if you do, there'll be quite a fire. I need it, Colin, and I'll give you five seconds. Put out that torch. This torch will set your whole tank afire if you shoot me. Now, time's up. My life isn't worth that much to you, Gorman. Put down the gun. All right. All right. Well, that's better. Now I'll come down. We'll talk. Donatello. Donatello. What's he doing skulking around here? Uh, uh, now you're going to burn it up, huh? Go ahead. You started a fire. I like them apples, Mr. Uh, Gorman. Sure I don't want to start have... any fires unless I have to. Now, here. I want you both to read this and sign it. Well, what? what you let the lawyer read? draw it up. Renato, huh? you give Gorman $3,000 to build a drainage set up in a chimney. In it... exchange... You'll get a share in the well and a voice in how it's run. No, why should I no pay a thousand dollars? Go ahead and start a fire. Yeah, I'll start well, you've a never fire. seen an oil fire, have you, Donatello? Well, this tank would explode in a few minutes and burning oil would cover your whole vineyard. You'd both be wiped out. Ooh. Now, take your choice, gentlemen. With that agreement, you can both operate your business at a profit. Otherwise, if you continue to fight, you'll both lose everything. Eh, uh, partner. Partner. Shake hands. I know. Shake hands. I know. Shake hands. Good. Now, Mr. Gorman, Renato's sister has a plan to seal the partnership. <laughs> What news? Sad news, my general. The army of engine wear advances. The forces of engine noise are poised for a major breakthrough. Where now, Colonel? The hydraulic valve rifter, sir. A heavy buildup of sludge, rust, and corrosion. New case I free C could handle them. Where the is supply? General, could even new case I free C stop this engine's noise? Colonel, it's never too late for new case I free C. If I could add just one pint to this oil right now, it would clean this engine. Smooth this engine. Silence this engine. Sir, the hydraulic valve lifters. They're pounding us to pieces. Man the radio. Call for help. Calling all car owners. This is Crank Case Central. Urgent. Add one K and K site three C to your motor oil immediately. Obtain it garage or service station. A dollar fifty cents. Results guaranteed or double your money back. Did they receive us? We can only hope, sir. To the new partnership. Ah. Mm. <laughs> well, say now, this wine ain't so bad after all. <laughs> it don't have the kick of white mule, but it feels all right. What do you mean? I don't know, but when I came in here, I hated everybody now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the dinner's oh, almost ready. Oh. Wait till you taste it. And I am going to get a dinner wine. Yeah, I, I am just the right thing. <laughs> What? You've got to get me out of here. Think of some excuse. You're smart. Why? What's the trouble? Uh, Teresa, she's a fine, handsome woman and all, but I can't stand that Italian food she cooks. It scorches me very inside. Here's but... to the food. Oh, and here's to the wine. Oh. And now we're all going to eat like friends. Uh, you I've... sit, the Mr. Gorman. Um, why don't you show Mr. Gorman your special dish, Teresa? Of course. Here. You like? Why? Why, right, that's Irish too. <laughs> and one thing more, Mr. Pallet. Yes. This. Um, 
I will see you tomorrow. For breakfast. Mm -hmm. Good night. Until then. Well, hello there, Miss Wong. Hello, Mr. Paladin. Good to see you back. <laughs> you sound like hey boy. <laughs> No, no, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, everything is going very well. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, I see you make quick plans for eating with charming young lady. Uh, you not only sound like hey boy, uh, you think like he does. Uh, yes, sir. But how you make date so fast? A bottle of wine, Miss Wong. Wine? Some of Mr. Donatello's very best wine. Oh. That's a very nice present. And on the enclosed note, note I quoted a little of Omar Khayyam. Oh, very nice. Hmm? Yes, very nice indeed. Mr. Paladin, I can have a copy of the note? Well, certainly. What for? Uh, Send to him, boy. Attached to bottle of sake. <laughs> Might have most happy results. Oh, yes, I think so. Good day, Mr. Paladin. <laughs> Good night, Miss Wong. Chester, put down that gun. I can't, honey. Mr. Dillon told me to practice. Oh, I don't care what Matt Dillon says. Mrs. Dennis Weaver says no guns in the house. But Mr. Dillon told oh, me. Oh, here's our picture in Look Magazine. And it says, Chester of Gunsmoke and his wife, known in private life as Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Weaver. But Mr. Dillon told me, honey. Now, does Maverick practice fast draws around the house? No, he helps his wife cook dinner. Well, now, ain't that something. Oh, here's your old friend Doc here in Look. And the Rifleman. And there's Yancey Derringer. Well, forevermore. Well, oh, ain't there wise, purdy, though? You know, everybody ought to get luck and take a look at them, because you know that girls was made to be loved. Girls. Oh, Chester, you show Matt Dillon a copy and let him see what other Western heroes and their wives do around the house. Well, all right, music lover. I'll be seeing you. Where are you going? Down to newsstand to buy a copy of new issue of Look magazine. Why? Well, for Mr. Dillon. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed by Norman McDonald and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy. Tonight's story was written by Ken Cole and adapted for radio by John Dawson. Featured in the cast were Blanche Hawkins, Lawrence Dobkin, Virginia Gregg, and Waldo Epperson. Hugh Douglas speaking. Join us again next week for Have Gun, Will Travel. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Join in the conversation by going to otrwesterns.com slash Discord. And don't forget to send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. This episode is copyright under the attribution, not commercial, share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and again, thanks for listening.